Hey everyone, it's time to show you how how I chain Villalu, how I do that trick to chain him and taking the loot without having to zone away three zones for him to respawn. We first spawn him like you normally do, which I showed in the in the other video. You can see the link in the description for that video. So if you that is if you don't already know how to spawn him. There it is. Okay. Have a character very close to the exit of the area. That's very important. And th that character should have a ranged weapon in order to do that. So I have bash with hand bombs. So that I can exit quickly when I grab the loot for him to respawn. It works you know just like Dustia. Everyone should already know about Dustia and how, how you, that trick and how you chain them. It works the same for this guy, just a few differences. It's it's more tough since this guy moves a lot and so on. But I will show you. And like I said in the other video, chain Banshee to the highest chain level so that the drew the l the loot. Villalu drops will be a high level chain since he's the same enemy type there you go now grab the loot and just exit just like that now you can respawn him without having to go zone away three zones away and check if I got a no, I didn't get a weapon. He drops Dorendal on this international version and he drops... And on the normal version of FF12 he drops the Save the Queen. Great Sword. And this is very early in the game before setting to the Hine Mines. For the first time, as you can see since I have Larsa. You can do the same in normal version, it's work, it works the same. So you can use this to get your save the queen, but in my case it's going to be a Durandal. The second best one handed sword I think. The best being Durandal A with the alphabet A. What I'm doing now is zone away five zone in and out five times to respawn Villalu. That's five times, I think. Bring out my fighting party. Just heal up in just in case. Villalo spawns in these two different locations of this area. As you can see. Bo and both are close to the exit so you can change them easily. And this dead bone is very annoying. Follow me around. Ah, I hate that. Oh, leave him be both here, we don't want more trouble than already. And blind guy, annoying as usual. So just like before, have your ranger attacker close to the exit. Oh my god, those dead ones are annoying.
have your have your have weight mode on not active because you will need a weight mode so that you can bring out the menu when he drops the loot that way you can grab the loot much easier and it it's very good when Villalu closes on your ranger attack so it will make easier to grab the loot and exit almost there yes so as you saw you open the menu it will freeze the game and the loot will drop making it easier for you to grab the loot then exit out and uh, when the loot drops change to your change to the person closest to the loot so that you can grab it then change back to your ranger attack who can quickly exit out of the area I still haven't got a weapon so just repeat this process until you get it it may look hard but it's not it's not it's really easy just keep at it once you figure out figure it out it will be much yes easier. I got my weapon yeah finally Whew. wow awesome let's see the that bad boy in action and baby Asha looks so sexy with it I love it it took me about an hour or so it's a 12% chance dropping with the highest chain level it's really worth it if you have if you're in the normal version of F12 you will get to save the queen instead which is as awesome so it's all worth the work especially since you can get it very early in the game this is right after Jahara when you get Larsa as guest again for the second time anyway here you go see you later